yeah, it's an unplanned self-care day. Finishing up my makeup before I head out, and I thought I would start the vlog here. Uh, we're back on to daily vlog. This is my last days in Bali before I fly to France. Today is Wednesday. Good morning. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, and um, I have a lot of things to do. A lot of things that I have to do. A lot of things that I want to do before I leave. But uh, yeah, so. This is just going to start to be a little bit, uh, life is going to go back to being hectic, if I must say. These past month and a half that I was here was so good. I got so much time for myself, but now it's time to go back to the crazy life, the hectic life. Um, so why this week is a little bit hectic? is I have a few appointments, shoots planned, and things that I have to do before I leave. And on top of that, on Sunday morning, I am a coordinator for the uh, Bali's biggest beach cleanup. So it's an organization called One Island, One Love here in Bali that organized this for every year for the past seven years. And when I saw their map, I saw that nobody was organizing um, a beach cleanup in the beach where I live close by. So I thought it was a pity, and so I volunteered to take care of that. But it does take time and it does take a little bit of organization, so I have to organize that and, you know, get people to come, which is the hardest part, honestly. So, yeah, we're doing that. So I'm doing that on Sunday morning and then on Sunday afternoon I'm flying to France. So it's going to be a long day. And then when I arrive in France, I literally drop off my luggage because it will be Monday and I have to go to our factory for production meeting for a production kickoff. Then starts fashion month, fashion week in Paris and I'll be working for three weeks nonstop. So I am uh, getting ready to go to the headquarters of the organization to pick up uh, the t-shirt and the banner and whatever paper I need for the beach cleanup. I have arrived at the headquarters and I got completely mistaken. I said one love, one island. It was It's one love, one island. So I'm at the headquarters. Look how pretty this is. So this is the headquarters of the organization. So pretty. Uh, yeah, let's go. It's starting to rain. Ah, let me show you the banner. So, wow, it's so, wow, it's so pretty. So here you have it. Bali's biggest, biggest cleanup, 19th of Feb. There you have it. By One Island, One Voice. Oh, not One Love? Wait, I'm mistaken. Okay. Oh, how pretty is this garden? Oh, so pretty. Hi, hello. Hi, come in. Are you here to pick up your yes. coordinator? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, okay. And you are from which organization? So, I'm doing this on behalf of sustainability. I have my kit, I have a banner and a t shirt. Look at me, so fancy. And uh, I have things to do. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, the day yesterday was quick but intense, right? <laughs> um, so today I have a weird day planned because it's Thursday. And you know how I said there's things that I want to do, there's things that I need to do. It's a mix of both. Because I'm getting today, it, and it ended up like being organized like this. So it's literally a day where I'm getting my nails done. <laughs> pedicure manicure and then I'm getting a massage that I had planned a long time ago because it was a gift so I'm just like gonna go hop from one nice place to another but I promise this is not what I do all day every day so yeah it's an unplanned self-care day I have to get my nails done right I have to get a pedicure I have to I have shoots next week right so it's a necessity <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, ooh la la. I'm on the beach and I'm going to go have lunch at this little beach shack uh, that I love for two reasons. One, because it's sunny. And Bali hasn't been this sunny in a long time, hence my paleness. And two, it's also the beach where I'm organizing the beach cleanup. And at the end of the cleanup, whoops, I want to gift a little coconut to all the people that participated, but most of all like to meet and speak and all of that. So I just wanted to give a little heads up to the beach chat to the beach shack so that they know that we will be coming because we're gonna be around 20 people. So like this they know. Ah! Oh shit. Uh-oh, I kept my I'm a I'm being very uh Ah, oh, being very uh, debutante in this because you should never keep your flip-flops on when water is coming because you will lose your flip-flops. Happened to me once and I was like <gasps> running around <laughs> trying to get my flip-flop back from the sea. I'm arriving at the beach shack but look this is because mainly of raining season but this is all the trash that we are going to take care of on Sunday. Arriving at the beach shack, so look how super cute it is. Yes. And I'm gonna sit right over there, right over here, and watch the waves and have a wonderful lunch. Shrimp, french fries, fruits, and a coconut. Just got back from the beach, uh, organized everything for Sunday. They're making us a little space for, for us at the end of the beach cleanup. They are even giving us a little discount on the coconuts, so that's super sweet to, you know, thank us for cleaning up the beach. Uh, and uh, yeah, so everything is getting into place. I'm happy. That was kind of one of the last bits that I had to deal with. And then I just got home. <laughs> And yesterday I washed some delicates in my bathroom and I left them to dry and I just got back and this is <laughs> what my maid did which I find it hilarious it's too funny for this homemade uh, drying station look at that so smart I have arrived at the Tugu hotel to get my massage it is the oldest hotel of Bali so I think this is going to be incredible. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, check it out. So it's in the center of Changu. Okay, so I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm going. Or yes, yes, see. I have a villa. You have? Well, not no, mine, uh, I rent. Oh, yes, yeah, right. yeah. Okay, how long? Uh, uh, Satu Town. Satu Town, Lama. <laughs> long time. L not long time, but a little time, yeah. Okay. <gasps> wow, this is beautiful. Wow, you wouldn't imagine that this is like hidden in the back of the street, you know, yeah. when you arrive. <laughs> Small street. <laughs> wow. The antique. Wow. Is this a room? Uh, spa. Is the spa beautiful? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> wow. So pretty. Okay, wow. So pretty. I have this wrong and I'm ready. Massage done. It was awesome. It's really good. Um, really, really good. Nothing to say. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Um, today, I started my day with a little meeting with the kind of uh, mayor of the neighborhood where I live in 
to organize the beach um, cleanup, so that was cool. He gave me the permission and everything, so everything went well. And now it is the end of the afternoon and I have a shoot planned. So it's not like a job at all. It's just that, you know, we're in such a beautiful place. So I feel like it's such a sad thing to not shoot any pictures. So a friend of mine that's a photographer is going to take a few pictures of me today at the beach. So I hope we'll do something really pretty. Uh, I really started modeling because I love photography. So I just love doing these like collaboration with friends and you know, just taking pictures. Um, and the weather is beautiful. I'm so happy. It was raining, kind of like drizzling all morning. So I was like, oh, we're going to have to cancel. But look at this. The weather is perfect. So I'm heading there now. I did my natural look, makeup look. Um, I have another shoot tomorrow. So I'll film to you quickly what my tips are for like very natural model look. That it looks like you don't have makeup, but you actually have makeup on. And I've organized the looks right over here, my bag. So I have a bag for looks right here that we've selected before. And I have a bag more for like makeup. This is to tie around my waist if I need to change into something. Um, and then also I do water bottles of water if I need to water my hair because it's just better than getting into the ocean. It's less messy. And uh, yeah, I love shooting. Uh, I always get this little mini kind of anxiety before where I'm like, oh, I hope I'm going to be good. Let's go. Okay, are you ready? I think. Or you jump. Okay. Or. <laughs> no. Look how beautiful, the weather is insane. And this is my little makeup and clothing station. So, <laughs> there was a small mishap. I got my leg. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to get up now so again? I got my leg smashed by a huge wooden log. I literally thought it was over. I was gonna go to the hospital. Uh, it tipped me over and ran all over my leg, but I'm okay now. So the show must go on. <laughs> the leg is... We don't know what the leg is going to look like tomorrow, but we got our spirits up and we're going back to shooting because we started, we're gonna finish what we started. So this is the look. Just kidding. <laughs> this is because it's a little inappropriate to be walking and down in the streets. So now we're heading out to another beach and we're going to keep on shooting. I am fully wet. We got down and dirty in the water. The dress is fully wet. We're making magic good morning guys it's 5 30 a.m i woke up an hour ago i'm almost ready to go so as i said yesterday i have a shooting today in uatu with a friend again um, this is all just for fun there's no jobs or anything it's just for fun uh, practicing you know it's always good to practice when you're a model even if you've been doing this for a long time it's always good to just get some shoots done and um i woke up crazy rain texting with my friend like what should we do should we do it um the rain stopped so i'm pretty happy uh it was very hard to get ready while we were listening to this rain i was like am i doing all this for no reason but i feel like you know it's only 5 30 so it's normal i have so because i'll be driving well not driving but because i'm going there for a good hour drive i prepared a base a makeup base 
and I'll just like intensify and finish it once I'm there. Because let's be honest, I'm just gonna fall asleep now in the car. The only thing that I'm gonna do that I wanted to show you guys, as I was saying yesterday, they always say, please do a very natural makeup, natural makeup, which I get. But enhancing a little bit the eyes and the lips makes a huge difference on picture. So I have a few tricks. When I do casting, when I do test shoots, where I can add just a little bit so that my eyes pop and my lips pop and it still looks super natural. So one of the things that I do is I do put eyeliner, but I put it to like really f a fine line inside my eyelashes to the point where you really can't see it. So I'm gonna do it now and then I'll show it to you on camera. So this is what I look like. This is what the eyes look like. It's a little bit more like defined, just pops the blue out a little bit more of the eyes. And then one of my other tricks is that I apply lip liner a long time before because it's going to kind of smudge and live on your lips. And then you just have to reapply just a little bit and it'll look super natural, not super defined. So I like to do it. Um, I go over my lips a little bit. So right now, see so it looks super defined. And then for some extra hydration, a little bit of sleeping lip mask. Kind of blends a little bit on the lip. But it doesn't matter right now. What matters is just like getting that defined and then you redo it once you're ready to shoot. So there. And then the hair, I'm just gonna braid it so that it looks clean upon arrival and doesn't take the humidity. And I'm ready, all right. My driver's here. Let's get this road trip going. It's the day! Look at this. It's the morning of the beach cleanup. I am heading out to our meeting point to put our banners up and meet everyone and welcome everyone. I'm super excited because we had 30 tickets available to you know have people come and the list is full so it's amazing it is not raining which makes it even better uh, so we're sure that pretty much everyone's gonna show up yesterday's shoot was amazing but I did not film anything because the, the weather was so crazy it rained so much but then we're like we just drove all the way here so let's just make the most out of it but having the camera out was impossible so I did not film anything but it went great so you'll see it on my Instagram if you follow me. We have arrived at the meeting point, which is War Room Pontai. You've seen me eating here sometimes. The little meeting point is ready. I'm still waiting to get some bread so I can put up the banner. And the beach is uh, it's giving us life today. It's giving me Marie Kondo vibes. Uh, we're gonna get everything cleaned up. It's exciting. Meeting for some thread so we can put the banner up. We have the rice bag, we have the gloves. Ta-da! The beach cleanup in full effect. Uh, bags are piling up. I think we have around 10 already. It is so hot, guys. Like, you know how yesterday we needed this weather for the photo shoot? We didn't get it. <laughs> and today, that was so hot. And... We have to get this done, but it's super cool. Everyone's super nice. It's so nice to meet new people. And the beach is getting cleaned up.
much cleanup done. So the sweat is real. So as I was saying, we needed a gloomy day and we got a super sunny day. <laughs> anyway, it was super fun. So happy so many people showed up. We cleaned up those beaches. It's all done. I'm super happy that I got to coordinate this for One Island, One Voice organization. Ta ta ta. And now it's time to chill pack my things because I'm leaving for Paris tonight. So Paris content coming up very soon. And uh, yeah, now it's time to go to the pool. Whew, I'm hot. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick vlog and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you are. Bye. Bye.